Yeah, that was, you know, a special time. So the rest of the world, Africa is a big zoo, you know. The only thing I know is football, really, so I'm fairly limited in that regard. <laughs> Matthew, you are a veteran of the game, and there's quite a pool of young players that have actually come into Bitlisfits, and a lot of them say that they learn a lot from you. What kind of value do you add to the team? Yeah, often, more often than not, you know, teams get it wrong with regards to the balance of the team, you know. Either it's too young or it's too old. Uh, but I think we've got a good balance here and I think um, the reason for, for having that balance and having the experienced players here is to not only show the youngsters the way on the field but especially off the field, you know, uh, whether it's advice about finances or you know, how to play, how to conduct yourself, um, uh, that, that's very important and for those youngsters who want to listen, um, most of the experienced players here who are very ready to give of advice. Um, and um, I think it's important not only on the field but also the way you conduct yourself, um, how you play, your, your, your work ethic, um, you know, coming on time, doing things at the right time. Um, I think the youngsters can see that, you know, it's not only a verbal exchange, it can be, you know, just a visual thing, the way, the way you conduct yourself. It's very, very important to, to lead by example. A lot has been said about your move from Ajax Cape Town to Bitvis Fitz. Kindly tell us about how it actually went down and how you're finding the move from Cape Town to Joburg. Yeah, look, uh, to be honest, when I signed with Ajax, I signed a three-year uh, deal, a one plus one plus one. Uh, they had an option to extend each year. Uh, the first year they failed to extend it, uh, but I, I, I hang around because um, uh, I knew they were very honest with me about the problems that were happening there in the boardroom. Uh, eventually, I did sign for a second year. And then that scenario happened again, you know, and uh, when you have a young family um, with you, you have to make decisions, you have to plan. And uh, to be kept in limbo for a second time, uh, for me, was not, was not comfortable. And um, I enjoyed my time there and I was very prepared to spend another uh, third and probably last season with them. Uh, but it didn't, it didn't turn out because Vitz came knocking and, you know, they showed interest. So when you have an ambitious team like this, uh, Vitz phoning you, uh, wanted you to come on board and you're in limbo, limbo. it was an easy thing to, to decide at the end of the day and um, I'm basically from, I'm a Joe Burger so even though I was born in Cape Town I've been here for 15, 16 years based here so it wasn't a difficult thing to settle in at all. Matthew, you are a veteran of the game and something that's inevitable for all players is that day of retirement. What are your plans for the days that you actually do hang up your boots? Yeah, look, um, the only thing I know is football, really, so I'm fairly limited in that regard. <laughs> but um, it's something that, uh, player, you've got to prepare for uh, as soon as you start, as soon as you leave school, you've got to prepare for it. And um, I'm one that I've always worried and I've always been concerned about what I'm going to be doing afterwards. Um, and I would love to get some sort of degree under my belt and uh, another good reason to, to come to a university team. <laughs> Matthew, now I know that you own a Kindle. Can you tell us about what you're reading currently? Um, at the moment, I'm actually reading a Tom Clancy book. Um, it's quite an old one. Um, I've actually just finished reading um, Reddy Tlaby's uh, Endings and Beginnings, uh, which was a very powerful and eye-opening uh, uh, read, and I, something that I can recommend it. A lot of the people know you as a tall defender who's actually done well for the national team and for club level football here in South Africa. What is it though that people don't know about Matthew Booth? Well, I've, I've, myself and my wife, we've um, the bugs bitten with regards to golf. Um, so we spend a lot of time on a golf course, but we've got two young boys, so uh, that, that time is fairly limited. So most of the time is spent with, with them. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.